A friend of mine, who I have known since we were teenagers, is very ill in hospital, and I have to admit that I have at times been tempted to pray for him. Of course I know this is a waste of time, but it's a common response given that both Islam and Christianity present God as if he does actually answer prayers. Misleading billions of people to spend their lives on their knees pleading and crying to a God who never answers. The Quran says, I answer the prayer of the supplicant when he calls upon me. And Prophet Muhammad said, if you ask, then ask Allah, and if you seek help, then seek help from Allah. I must have prayed many thousands of times during all the years I was a Muslim. After each formal prayer, I stayed kneeling on my prayer mat, held my hands out to God and made dua. I prayed for many things, depending on my situation at the time, to get a new bicycle, to pass my exams, to make me a good Muslim, to keep me on the straight path, to stop this or that war, to feed the starving, or to help the victims of a disaster, and so on. The more general and vague prayers were answered pretty much in line with what one would expect from the random outcomes of chance. But more significantly, the specific and important prayers were usually not answered. One example was when my first daughter was born premature and was kept in hospital. I prayed like I had never prayed before. I used every dua of the Prophet. I prayed every extra prayer. I avoided any doubtful act and performed all my religious duties down to the tiniest detail, along with extra acts of piety and charity. I stayed up all night praying. But God, in his infinite wisdom, decided to ignore all my pleas, and she died. Of course, I didn't blame God. I blamed myself. It was my fault. I must have done something wrong. Or maybe it was a test. Or maybe it was for the best, and God knows best. Anything to avoid the most obvious explanation, that praying to God actually makes no difference at all. I might as well have been praying to Humpty Dumpty, since the results would have been exactly the same. What makes me angry is not that bad things happen in this world, but that religion gives people false hope that an invisible being up in the sky will help them and answer their prayers. Religion makes people feel guilty if their prayers are not answered, blaming themselves for not being good enough, and pushing people to ever more obsessive observance of meaningless rituals. Just imagine if all the time that the human race spent in prayers to an invisible and unresponsive God was used to actually go out and help another human being. How much better this world would be. I had a message from above. And I'm here to tell you that this message concerns our love. Which we 